Hey there, it's Nina with Walla Stamping. Thank you for joining me today. So this is number two of my Gift Tag Tuesday series this year. And I wanted to make something that was kind of shabby chic for today's gift uh, tag and I made this and I wanted to share it with you and I think that you're going to like it What I feel like makes this on the shabby side is the fact that I've used our burlap ribbon and the color choices and then what I think makes it more on the chic side is the gold glimmer paper that's not supposed to be there. The gold glimmer paper, the rhinestones, and my love of my life, my black shimmer ribbon. So let me show you all that you're going to need to create this. Now for the card stock, I've got four pieces here, three different colors, all cut to the same size. Four by three. Crumb cake, early espresso, basic black. Now I will have a link in the description box that's below this video. It will have a printable PDF for you. It'll have all the measurements, all the list of supplies, detailed instructions on how to make this project. So if you don't feel like you have time to write everything down, you can just print out that PDF. Now for the snowflakes, I've got some Whisper White. This is one and a half by two. Then I have a couple pieces of my Gold Glimmer for the little swirls. They need to be about one and three quarter by one and three quarter or thereabouts. I'm going to be using the Star of Light stamp set today and I'm going to use my favorite out of the stamp set which is this little swirl right here which I'm going to emboss with gold and that'll just kind of show up in the background. Then I'm going to be using my Snowflake Sentiments and I'm just going to use the Seasons Greetings for my sentiment. And I'm going to also be using my Swirly Snowflakes Thin Lits Dyes and I'm going to use the Swirl and the Snowflake out of this. Now these two can actually come together in a bundle. They are in the holiday catalog and they are on page 35. They're called the Snowflake Sentiments Bundle. If you are interested in this and you purchase them together, use the bundle number. That way you'll save 10% on the cost. Then I'm also going to be using another one of my favorites, my Layering Ovals Framelits Dies. So these are the tools that you'll be using to create this gift tag. Now the first thing I'm going to do is grab one of my pieces of early espresso and get my layering ovals. I'm going to choose the third from the largest oval. I'm just going to draw around the outside of this oval with my ink pen. You can use a pencil or whatever you like. You don't have to worry about this ink showing up on your finished project because it will get cut away when we cut that out. The reason I'm putting it there is so that I will have a better idea of where to do my stamping. So first thing I'm going to do is run my embossing buddy across my cardstock. Then I'm going to grab my Versa mark and the stamp that I'm going to use and I'm going to get that inked up in my Versa mark ink. So then I'm going to stamp this right here so that it's coming up and swirling around the top of my oval that I have there. Ink it up a second time and stamp it again coming in the opposite direction. So basically these swirls are kind of curling into each other. You'll see what I mean once I get the embossing done. So I'm going to be using my gold embossing powder And I will have to tell you that if you hear any peculiar noises in the background, I do have some fellas working underneath the house today and they're right underneath the room where I am. So you might hear some power tools. Just ignore it if you can. All right, so next I'm going to heat set this with my heat tool. Isn't that so pretty? I love the gold against the crumb cake. I think it looks really, really nice. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be using my basic black ink and I'm going to stamp the season's greetings on top of that gold embossed powder. But 
in order to make sure that it shows up really well, I'm going to have to stamp it several times. So I'm going to be using my Misty tool to do that because I don't trust myself to be able to stamp in the exact same place multiple times and get it right. So I'm going to take my Seasons Greetings stamp and I'm going to lay it down in here and try to get it centered up. I'm going to open my basic black archival ink, ink that stamp up, and I'm probably going to end up stamping this about four to five times. You can tell the first time I stamp it that it's not really dark and vibrant, so that's why I'm going to stamp it several times because I really want it to show up well on top of that gold embossed powder and it's coming together. I think one or two more stamps should get it. One more time. Then I like to make this look shiny, so I'm going to actually put some clear emboss powder on there. I'm just gonna get my stamp cleaned off here because it never fails that I always end up getting ink in my Versamark. So I'm gonna clean that up as well as I can. Then take my Versamark ink, ink my stamp up really well and then stamp that right back on top of my season's greetings where I've got the black ink. Then I'm going to use my clear embossing powder next. Now you don't have to do the clear embossing powder if you don't want to. I just really like the look that it gives it because it makes my sentiment have a shine to it and that look I really do like a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some of these cut out. So again, I'm going to grab my third from the largest oval, line that up around my greeting. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out my other two ovals. On the early espresso, I'm going to be using the largest plain oval. On the basic black, I'm going to be using the second from the largest scallop oval. I'm going to go ahead and lay my Whisper White there and my Snowflake and then put down a piece of my gold foil or not gold foil I mean gold glimmer and cut out one of my swirls so I'm going to cut out two of each and I'll be right back okay so at this point we can start building our gift tag so to put the ribbon on I'm just going to use some of my fast fuse and I'm going to put quite a bit of that down here then I've got two pieces of my burlap ribbon. They're each about four and a half, well, I'd say more about five inches. I'm gonna lay one right there, and then the other one is going to go right beside it. And these are a little bit longer probably than what you're going to need. You can cut them down if you want to. Then I'm going to take my basic, or my black shimmer ribbon rather, and I'm going to tie that around into a bow. Now when I'm putting my sentiment on top of my basic black, I'm going to be using some dimensionals. I'm out of my regular size dimensionals. I just ordered them yesterday, but it would take quite a few of these little mini dimensionals. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a strip off of the side there, and then just cut this down into smaller pieces and use that on the back of this. If I had my regular size dimensionals, I would probably go ahead and use those. Or I've also got some of the adhesive foam strips, which I really like using a lot. I would probably consider those as well. I'm just going to add more adhesive and attach my greeting to the top of my early espresso. Then I will attach my chic 
part of my tag now and I'm just going to use some mini glue dots to do that with. So I'm going to put a mini glue dot right behind here. I'm going to slide that under and then make sure that it overlaps. Then I'm just going to use my piercing tool to go under there and make sure that stays stuck. I'm going to take an additional one and I'm going to roll that up into kind of a log shape and then put that right in here behind that to hold that down. So I'm going to do the same thing again with the second one. There we go, do it just like that. Now, I'm also going to use my mini glue dots to stick down my um, snowflakes. And I like putting them kind of over the top of where my little swirls are. Then I'll put a rhinestone in the middle. So here's my rhinestones and I'm actually going to use the medium size Put one in the center of each of those little snowflakes. And now my gift tags are ready to go on a package. Now I didn't do anything to the backs of these. I just left them plain. But by all means, you could cut out an additional piece of your crumb cake and you could use either of these stamp sets to put a sentiment on the back. This one actually has a to and from in it. And then there's other sentiments as well as snowflakes. And then this is full of all kinds of sentiments as well as other stars and different types of things that you could use to put on the back if you wanted to. But I think that this is a very pretty, shabby chic, neutral colored um, gift tag. And I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Remember that I will have a list of all of the supplies as well as a link to the printable PDF in the description box that's below the video. And if you like this tutorial, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you're not going to miss any of my other paper crafting tutorials. Also on Monday evenings, I do a Facebook Live on my Walla Stamping Facebook page. And what I did last night was this little box and some of the ladies that comes and joins me we have such a good time just talking and getting to know one another and it's really a lot of fun so again I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial this is number two of the gift tag Tuesday series I will have one every Tuesday at least through Christmas so thank you so much for watching and spending time with me today and I'll talk to you soon